wide bore ID tunable whistle in snakewood that I've just been given. Um, the metal on it uh, is apparently stainless steel um, uh, rather than silver and um, to be honest with you I'm quite happy with that. Um, the silver ones are good, you've got to polish them and this looks every bit as good to me. Um, let's give it a, a little warm up. it's not going to clog. It's quite a generous um, windway so it should be all right. I'll play my usual slow tune on it and see what it does. Well, um, that's got all the notes uh, and it's a really bright, it's very easy to play, it's a really bright sound, it's like my Oz whistle in that sense, both the, the ease of playability and the brightness. And the white bore, um, I'm not sure what it brings to it. I think what it probably brings is just a slightly bigger sound, as you'd expect. Um, I'm going to compare it actually with the oars, which I've got just uh, here. It wants to, here we go. It's a very similar type of sound. Yeah, just with that um, slightly more roundness of sound that the bigger bore brings. Um, gee, I, I think, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd be very happy to own one of those. Uh, that's a very nice whistle indeed. This is uh, a Roy McManus uh, non-tunable whistle. It's called the Sylvan, I believe, and it looks to be made of cocobolo wood with uh, a blackwood top. So say it's non-tunable, um, uh, so let's give it a go. there so let's give it the treatment
there was one crack in there, but that was entirely my fault. Um, nothing to do with the whistle, which plays really well. Um, any whistle that can play that tune um, pretty much straight off um, without any danger of it letting you down, to me, is going to be a good whistle. I'm going to say, I mean, it's really nicely in tune. Uh, so tunable, I don't know. It's, everyone wants a tunable whistle nowadays. Um, they don't have to be. I've got plenty of non-tunable whistles. And provided uh, the, the actual pitch of the thing itself um, is up to uh, concert pitch, then um, you don't need it. Um, I'm going to suggest that as it's non-tunable and it doesn't have all the kind of metal bits and the doodads and the collets and everything else, that it's going to be um, pretty reasonably priced. I don't know how much it is, but um, whatever it is, um, I'd pay that for it any day. I think it's a really, really good, professional, nice playing piece of kit. This is a Sylvan... B flat whistle by Roy McManus. Uh, it's in Blackwood, uh, similar to the uh, D that I've already played. Um, uh, this is something of a prototype, I understand. Um, so let's give it a go. I'll play the same tune. Uh, it'll be a bit lower in pitch, um, but uh, I, you don't often see B flat. Um, whistles in wood. Um, I've got a Chris Abel one and I think that's the only one that I've ever seen. Um, more often they're in metal or plastic so you know this is one of a, a small band of B-flat wooden whistles. Yeah, well, uh, it can do that. Uh, I'm sure it can do... Um it's got quite a lot of high notes on it. Um, I think it's great. I mean, if this is one of the first ones he's made, which I believe it to be, um, <laughs> they can only get better, and this is already good. So... Um, Look forward to um, playing some more of these in the very near future. Mm -hmm.